Hello everyone, it's a cloudy afternoon here at my outdoor guppy setup. At the moment, I'm gonna feed frozen dapnia to my guppies like my beautiful purple mosaic guppies. My stunning male Santa Claus guppies. My cute dwarf koi guppies in this tub as well. My precious male full gold guppies. My colorful Dumbo red tail guppies as well. My breeder full gold guppies. And the rest of my guppies that I have outdoor. Every after three days or twice a week, I do siphon most of the tubs here at my outdoor setup. And today is the schedule of siphoning my tubs. So I decided to siphon the tubs after feeding my guppies. I use my DIY siphon hose to remove all the dirt and fish poops at the bottom. Algae can grow anywhere at the tub, so I make sure to get rid of them. In just two to three days, fish poops and snail poops will accumulate at the bottom and can be very harmful to guppies over time. So you should make sure to remove most of it as possible. By the way, I used to remove this type of snail out from the tub before, but now I realize they are very useful and I believe the, there's a reason why these snails thrive inside my guppy tubs. Although they really look ugly, but I use a few numbers of them to minimize algae growth. Since my outdoor setup is direct sunlight, algae can grow very fast, so every now and then I do remove some algae that is growing on the side of the tub. After siphoning my large tubs, I also siphon my extra large tubs in this side. There's a lot of juvenile gold guppies inside this tub, so I make sure to carefully siphon all poops at the bottom. Some neighbors will catch me doing like this and I'm pretty sure they will think that I'm already crazy. But that's okay because I am really a crazy person. After one hour, I was able to finish siphoning the tubs and you can see that the tubs are no longer full of water and we need to tap up fresh water to make it full again. I will start adding fresh water in this tub first. I'm using container bottles to tap up fresh water to the tub to make it full again. After 15 to 20 minutes, I was able to tap up all the tubs with fresh water and I can feel that the guppies are very happy with it. But I'm not really happy this time because I found one mosquito trying to suck my precious DNA. Anyway, today's video, we are going to harvest baby guppies from our tubs. This tub contains both male and female juvenile gold guppies and I'm planning to move all male juvenile guppies here to a different tub. First, we will have to transfer all subadult female gold guppies that I have in this tub. We will use this blue container to transfer all the female gold guppies to the other tub. After a couple of minutes, I was able to catch all subadult female gold guppies. And as you can see, these guppies are very beautiful. We will then transfer these females to this extra large tub but we will acclimate them first before releasing them. As mentioned earlier, we will catch all male juvenile gold guppies that we have in this tub. And I'm using this viewing tank so we can clearly identify which one is male and which one is female. Here I was able to catch some of the juvenile guppies using my net. And now we will transfer all of them to this viewing tank. After catching all juvenile guppies, you can see that these guppies are very stunning. Since they have gold coloration, they are very fun to watch and I really love it. This viewing tank makes it easier for us to tell the gender of each guppies. Now let's go ahead and select all the males inside this viewing tank. Female guppies are easy to identify because they develop gravid spot like this one right here. On the other hand, male juvenile guppies don't develop gravid spot, but they have pointed anal fin, plus they also develop solid body coloration. 
after 5 minutes, we were able to catch all juvenile female gold guppies. And we put all of them inside this small container to separate all of them. And now it's time to place them back to the tub. We also have all male juvenile gold guppies inside this viewing tank. And we will also transfer all of them to this blue container. These males will be transferred to a different tub so they can grow properly. We have our male juvenile guppies inside this container. We also have our sub-adult male gold guppies inside this tub. So I'm planning to transfer all male juvenile gold guppies in this tub. This tub contains juvenile and baby dumbo ear mosaic guppies. So we will find a way to transfer all of them properly. In a way, we will now release all female sub-adult gold guppies to this tub. Now let's go ahead and catch all juvenile dumbo ear mosaic guppies in this tub using this blue container. After catching all guppies inside this tub, I also decided to remove all the plants from this tub so I can create enough space for my male juvenile gold guppies to grow. After removing the plants, there are a lot of leaves floating on top surface so I decided to catch all of them using my net. After cleaning, it's time to acclimate all male juvenile gold guppies to this tub. We will also need floating algae to the other tub. Luckily, this floating algae here have grown so well, so I will cut it into half and transfer it to the other tub. This floating algae is very important to help my tubs have more crystal clear water. Anyway, I decided to place all juvenile dumbo ear mosaic to this viewing tank and I can see both males and females already. Female dumbo ear mosaic copies a half moon shaped caudal tail and visible gray bead spot. Meanwhile, male dumbo ear mosaic copies a colorful and half moon shaped caudal tail and pointed anal fin. After a few minutes, we were able to separate all female juvenile dumbo ear mosaic guppies and all juvenile male dumbo ear mosaic guppies. Earlier, we catch all the female subadult gold guppies in this tub, and now it's already empty. So we will transfer all juvenile male dumbo ear mosaic guppies here. We will also transfer the juvenile female dumbo ear mosaic guppies to this blue container so that we can acclimate them to their new home. While acclimating, we will also harvest all baby guppies inside this tub. If you remember, I placed some of my platinum balloon moles here, but I decided to release all of them so I can focus on breeding my guppies. So this tub is empty for more than a week, and as you can see, there are mosquito larvae thriving in this tub already. This is my Dumbo Air Red Tail breeding tub and as you can see, there are a lot of baby guppies inside this tub. So today, we will transfer them to another tub. I'll be using this blue container to catch all baby guppies inside this tub. After 5 minutes, I was able to catch all baby Dumbo Air Red Tail guppies from the tub and I think there are more or less 50 baby guppies inside this container and they are very cute after acclimating my male juvenile full gold guppies it's now safe to release them to their new home male juvenile dumbo ear mosaic guppies are also ready to take their new home juvenile female dumbo ear mosaic guppies are ready to release as well. And lastly, we will also release our baby Dumbo Air Red Tail to their new home. I hope these guppies will grow very well in the future so we can share it to our fellow guppy keepers. So that's all for today. I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.